Rebecca Hall and Griffin Newman, who also starred in 2018 film A Rainy Day in New York with Timothy, gave their salaries to charity last week. The move follows the allegation that Woody Allen, 82, molested his adopted daughter Dylan Farrow. Timothy Chalamet says he does not wish to profit from the 2018 Woody Allen film, A Rainy Day in New York. The 22-year-old actor announced in a statement on Tuesday that he was giving his salary back to charity, after condemning the director, 82, over historic allegations made about harassment and molestation. Timothy is the third actor from the star-studded cast, which also includes Elle Fanning, Jude Law and Selena Gomez, to donate his earnings. Scroll down for video the young actor wrote, I have, to this point, chosen projects from the perspective of a young actor trying to walk in the footsteps of more seasoned actors I admire. But I am learning that a good role isn't the only criteria for accepting a job that has become much clearer to me in the past few months, having witnessed the birth of a powerful movement intent on ending injustice, inequality and above all, silence. Timothy has chosen to split his properties between three charities, Times UP, the LGBT Center in New York, and RAINN, Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. He went on to say, I don't want to profit from my work on the film, and to that end, I am going to donate my entire salary. Timothy's statement in full the statement concluded, I want to be worthy of standing shoulder to shoulder with the brave artists who are fighting for all people to be treated with the respect and dignity they deserve. The move comes in response to criticism of Hollywood hypocrisy from his adopted daughter Dylan Farrow, who alleges that the director sexually molested her when she was seven. At the weekend, English actress Rebecca Hall also gave back the salary she earned from A Rainy Day in New York. She confirmed in a statement that she would not work with the director again and said she too was donating the money to the newly formed Time's Up Coalition. The campaign was formed by entertainers in the wake of dozens of high-powered men in show business facing accusations of sexual assault, harassment and misconduct. Griffin Newman was one of the first to admit he regretted his part in the film, last October. Before the film had even gained an official title, he announced on that he believed Woody was guilty of child sexual abuse allegations. He subsequently donated his entire salary to the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, RAINN. Timothy, Rebecca and Griffin worked alongside U.S. musician Selena Gomez, who in December said she was unsure how to respond to the Woody Allen allegations. To be honest, I'm not sure how to answer, she told Billboard. Not because I'm trying to back away from it. The Harvey Weinstein allegations actually happened right after I had started on the movie. They popped up in the midst of it and that's something, yes, I had to face and discuss. I stepped back and thought, wow, the universe works in interesting ways. The film also stars Jude Law, Al Fanning, Diego Luna, Liev Schreiber, Cherry Jones, Will Rogers, Kelly Rohrbach and Suki Waterhouse. Earlier this month, David Krumholtz condemned his part in the making of Woody Allen film Wonder Wheel. I deeply regret working with Woody Allen on Wonder Wheel, he said. It's one of my most heartbreaking mistakes. He added, we can no longer let these men represent us in entertainment, politics, or any other realm. They are beneath real men and on whether he would donate his profits, the actor replied by saying, what residuals? Barely got paid. Woody doesn't pay. Greta Gerwig also publicly declared that she will not work for controversial director Woody Allen again during an interview with the New York Times. Greta admitted 